Daniels here. Welcome to another episode of a bit of data science in Scikit-Learn. We learned just a little bit of data science and a whole lot of Scikit-Learn. Um, we're talking about model evaluation. Um, and so please, if you've not watched the previous episode on grid search, uh, please do watch that, uh, as well as cross-validation. These, these are both very, very important topics to talk about when we're discussing model evaluation. Um, now, model evaluation is a bag, a big bag of tricks, and they're all used in basically the same way. Um, so let's sort of check this out. Um, when you're trying to evaluate a model, there's tons of ways you can evaluate a model. It's so right here, you're listed a ton of ways. Accuracy, average precision, F1, F1 micro, macro, weighted, samples, negative log, loss, precision, recall. These are all for classification. For regression, you've also got a ton of stuff. Scikit-learn has made it so that being bigger is better. So for regression, you're looking at negative mean absolute error. Um, so these are all ways to score a model. And why do you want to score a model? Why do you need to score a model if you're trying to do hyperparameter selection is, is one example. Um, if you're trying to do feature selection is another example, especially with recursive feature elimination. Um, so uh, you can use any of these strings to, to go ahead and use this, this metric. Um, so for example, uh, I'll do cross-validation scoring and I'll use negative log loss on um, an SVC, so support vector classifier, right? And it prints out this negative log loss, which is really nice. If I use a wrong choice, it will throw an error uh, as, it, as it does right down here. Um, nothing too crazy here. Um, you can do other things as well. You can make uh, your own type of metric. Uh, the way that you make this is you use the make score um, and generally speaking, you're going to go ahead and have some sort of function that does scoring for you. So for example, I've got an F beta score. Uh, it requires to have a, a sort of like a hyperparameter of being a beta. You specify the beta being two, you use the make score, and now you're able to have this new F2 score. Um, so make score is, is somewhat useful. You, you can do this all the time. You can even make your own custom. Uh, so you can make score using this sort of like custom uh, loss function. Um, I've never done this. Um, I, I can certainly imagine cases where this would be very useful, especially if you're trying to do research. But generally speaking, there's a ton of scoring uh, functions up here that are very, very useful. So I recommend reading through all these first before you decide to make your own. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, in this scoring library, there are a lot of other kind of cool functions that I just wanted to show you. There is the confusion matrix. So given uh, so a set of truthful uh, targets and a set of predicted targets, you can make a confusion matrix. Um, the, uh, oh man, I always, the truth is uh, on, the, on the left and the predicted is on the bottom, I believe. Um, predicted, uh, yes, the, um, the predicted is on the bottom and the truth is uh, all, all across the top. So this is saying, this is what I predicted and this is the, this is the truth. So anything along the diagonal is a true positive. Anything off the diagonal is, is false, it's not correct. So for example, here, I, I guess I predicted that this was a three and it was actually just a zero. Uh, or I guess I predicted it was a one or a zero and it was actually a three. So confusion matrix useful. Um, you can even extract uh, the true positives and false positive rates. Um, from the confusion matrix using this dot rabble. Uh, this will only work if you have uh, a two by two confusion matrix. Um, classification port report, this is also awesome. Uh, you, you need Y true and you need Y predict and you also, some target names would be helpful um, in order to just have like a nicer, uh, you, it just gives you these class labels right over here. Um, this will sort of tell you what your, what your F1 score precision recall are. I love this, I, I, I use this each time. Um, and the final thing that I want to show you is in this package is a dummy estimator. And these are like, if you ever want to compare to the baseline, the dumb baseline, uh, where the dumb baseline is like, let's predict the average. Let's like, woo, you know, don't even look at the, the data. Let's just do that. This, this is basically what this package is here for. So you've got um, uh, most frequent, um, maximizes the class prior, uniform, uh, at random, all sorts of different strategies. Um, we train tests, but the IRS will compare a linear support vector classifier versus um, uh, 
versus a dummy classifier of most frequent. Wow, it's not too different, right? And at this point, we we just got to be like, hey, you know, <laughs> we, we this this can't be like the right the right strategy. And so we we continue to look for the model and find something that's much better. So if you're ever looking for like a dumb baseline to compare your model against, uh, the dummy classifier is a good thing too. So that's right there. There's also dummy regressors. So I'll just put that here. Okay. Hope this was quick, easy, and fun. Um, as always, tune in next time, and I'll see you again.